everybody know I brought the beef between Drake, between uh, Kendrick Lamar, between uh, J. Cole, you know what I'm saying, Chris Brown, Quavo, and whoever else is beefing with each other, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the beats I bring on here, it ain't even got to be in music, you know what I'm saying? When, uh, uh, who was that one that did? Uh, Shannon Sharp and Mike Epps was at their beats. Like, you know, go back and watch my shows, man. I, I present all the beats, everything. You know what I'm saying? But I brought this stuff to y'all, you know what I'm saying? As far as the, uh, the Drake and the Kendrick Lamar and the J. Cole stuff, you know what I'm saying? Just to let y'all hear how, you know, each party was coming, you know what I'm saying? And they diss tracks, you know what I mean? Well, since then, Drake released another diss track. Only this time, he utilized the um, AI, you know what I'm saying? And incorporated Tupac's vocals and um, Snoop Dogg's vocals on a song, I believe it's called Taylor May, this in Kendrick Lamar. And what he did was, he was rapping, Drake was rapping, but he used AI to convert his voice into Tupac's, to, to sound like Tupac's. And he used it also to convert his voice to sound like Snoop Dogg. You know what I'm saying? And each verse was this in Kendrick Lamar. You know what I'm saying? Now, Kendrick Lamar's from the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? From Cop. You know, and he's one of our most standout artists that we got. You know what I'm saying? And has been for, for, for some years now. You know what I mean? So he's res very respected on the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? And he um, also um, was kind of tight with the with the uh, Tupac estate. You know what I'm saying? Um, represented always. You know what I mean? So for Drake to turn around and utilize Tupac's vocals to diss Kendrick Lamar and then incorporate Snoop Dogg's vocals to diss Kendrick Lamar, another West Coast legend. You know what I'm saying? See, he took two of the most standout legends from the West Coast as far as um, um, rap go and used them to diss our current standout talent. You know what I'm saying? Which was smart. I give it to Drake and the song was it wasn't bad. It was hard. You know what I'm saying? And and the uh, the other song that he did, this and um Kendrick Lamar and Rick Ross and everybody else, that was hard. You know what I'm saying? I've never taken nothing away from any of the artists. You know what I'm saying? Not at all. You know what I'm saying? But this one that he used Tupac's vocals in and Snoop's vocals in, I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was the coldest fucking sneak attack that you can do to counteract the sneak attack that Kendrick did on them. It was, you know, his diss track, the first one that, that um Drake came with, it was hard. I give it, I give it to him. But that second one, what makes it so cold is what he did. He utilized the AI, you know what I'm saying, to diss Kendrick using two West Coast legends. You know what I'm saying? And nobody never seen nothing like that coming. You know what I mean? So if y'all haven't heard that song, go listen to that song, man. I didn't bring it, you know what I'm saying? But I did bring this um, video clip of them talking about the situation. So go ahead and check this out. And if y'all got any comments, stop being shy and hop in the goddamn comment section and say something. <laughs> Check this out. Tupac's estate has given Drake an ultimatum regarding his Taylor Made freestyle list against Kendrick Lamar. A list that features Tupac's likeness in an artificial intelligence form. On Wednesday, April 24th, Billboard obtained and published a cease and desist letter from litigator Howard King to Drake for using a computer generated replica of Tupac's voice on his latest song. Tupac's estate is threatening to pursue all of its legal remedies if he doesn't pull the track down within 24 hours of receiving the cease and desist. The document Read, the state is deeply dismayed and disappointed by your unauthorized use of Tupac's voice and personality. Not only is the record a flagrant violation of Tupac's publicity and the state's legal rights, it is also a blatant abuse of the legacy of one of the greatest hip-hop artists of all time. The state would never have given its approval for this use. The unauthorized, equally dismaying use of Tupac's voice against Kendrick Lamar, a good friend to the estate who has given nothing but respect to Tupac and his legacy publicly and privately, 
compounds the enzyme. The state went on to say, if you comply, the state will consider whether an informal negotiation to resolve this matter makes sense. If you do not comply, our client has authorized this firm to pursue all of its legal remedies, including but not limited to an action for violation of the estate's copyright, publicity, and personality rights, and the resulting damages, injunctive relief, and punitive damages, and attorney's fees. Hey, Suge was the first one that, uh, that I seen that stepped out and had something to say about this situation, man. And he wasn't pleased with it at all. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, he sent uh, a cold little warning, you know what I'm saying, to, to uh, Drake in regards to that, expressing how he felt. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, he wasn't playing. You know what I mean? And I noticed, like, soon thereafter, probably like a day or two after, he stepped out there and said something publicly, you know, cease and desist came. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they're not playing. They're not playing about this situation at all, man. And and you do have some people that, that do feel disrespected that Drake did, Drake did this. Drake is a Canadian nigga, for one. You know, although a very respected, talented artist you know what i'm saying so really you know it like i said it was a brilliant move as far as attack go you know what i'm saying because the way he he orchestrated the song it's cold you know what i mean y'all got to go listen to it man you know what i'm saying but uh i see any of y'all jumping in the comment section saying anything about that story or any of the story so that's fine i will continue to talk you know what I'm saying? For all of us. <laughs> really, it ain't too much more to say about it. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? The estate is going to get what it get. You know what I'm saying? Especially if he didn't have the authorization to utilize uh, the likes of Tupac. You know what I'm saying? You have to get the authorization, man, to u utilize any artist's uh, uh, likeness. You know what I'm saying? That, that's that's clear as day. You know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't advise anybody to jump out there and try to pull a move like that because what was... And you know what's funny about that, the cease and desist? I remember probably like probably like five or six years ago, I tried to utilize a Drake beat. Um, I think I was making like a mixtape or something. You know what I'm saying? And I remember, I would never forget it. You know what I'm saying? I had actually recorded the, the vocals and everything and was trying to release the song and they immediately sent me a cease and desist. Wouldn't even allow the track to go, none of that. They stopped it immediately. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, Drake, what goes around comes around, my nigga. 